There are different soul groups here on Earth at this time, each specializing in specific areas of consciousness, who have a distinct purpose and contribute their unique skill set towards humanity's spiritual evolution. Out of the soul groups, or rays, that are assisting humanity's collective consciousness, the blue rays are the most mysterious and therefore the most misunderstood. So today I'm going to be demystifying who the blue rays are, what their unique qualities are, and at the end of this video, I will share what the major themes the blue rays are healing in the collective consciousness are. The blue rays are not from any one source of origins. They are higher dimensional beings who have incarnated into this human experience from ascended worlds and higher vibrational realms of light. Rather than being from any one planet, how they get their name, Blue Ray, is because of their dominant frequency and its vibration within the Blue Ray of creation. So they have a dominantly blue aura, which is the ray or facet of source consciousness that is highly claircognizant, or otherwise known as wisdom. They are often described as mysterious or give off strong esoteric vibes due to their interest in and their connection to hidden and ancient knowledge. They could not fit in even if they tried. They are incredibly wise and sensitive. Not only does their sensitivity lead them to feel things so deeply and intensely, the intensity of their energy field comes from their sensitive nature. So paradoxically, their sensitivity is both experienced and expressed as intensity. This adds to their recognizable qualities as a refined fierceness. It also allows their intuitive abilities to access realms that are not normally accessed here in this dimension because of how subtle in nature and higher vibratory they are. In order to access information at that level, enormous amounts of sensitivity is required or else there's simply no way to effectively translate the communication since it would be too wide of a gap in between languages. Because intelligence is not reserved to only the mind. In fact, the reason why blue rays are so wise is because of their empathic nature. True intelligence can only exist in the presence of empathy. For instance, we think when we are learning something, that we are only using our brain or our mental faculty to take in the information and assemble it into understanding. But we are not. We are using more than one sense to assimilate information and to generate understanding. We are absorbing information through multiple channels. Our sentience is amplifying the learning process. Our empathy is soaking the information in through all of its centers and then informing the mind of connections that were not priorly recognized and reorganizing that data. So consciousness is a holistic process of the energy field. The more energetically sensitive a being is, the more potential for intelligence they have, since a holistic ability of the mind, body, and soul is intelligence rather than a purely cerebral function. The Blu-ray's main purpose here is for global healing through alchemy. They are masters of transmutation. So naturally, they are here to transmute the deepest, darkest portions of the third dimension, as well as the densest layers of this reality. They did not sign up for an easy life. In fact, the Blue Ray's soul contracts have the most severe forms of contrast within them, since they are natural alchemists. In fact, one of the defining qualities of a Blue Ray is if they have really harsh contrast in their life experience. This can take the form of a mystery illness, incarnating into severely traumatized or distorted lineages, or even if we attract abnormally high levels of persecution from others, as well as really bizarre and intense levels of injustice. This is because of the way the Blue Ray's energy field is configured. It's ultra magnetic, creating a dynamic similar to a moth drawn to a source of light. It's not that blue rays enjoy to see others in misery or pain. It's that the purpose of their energy field is to transmute the darkest layers of reality. So they are naturally drawn to suffering for the same reason that the indigos are naturally drawn to exposing the underbelly of the matrix. 
It's simply their soul's purpose, and that's what their energy field is designed for. However, because of this, it magnetizes experiences into its field that can often evoke cruel and harsh projections from others, dark forces, all sorts of unconscious behaviors, and karmic patterns that are being triggered by the consciousness that the blue ray of creation emits. A blue ray's energy field is one of the only kinds that can hold space for this level of darkness. But understand, that holding space does not mean justifying or excusing any of this. It only means having the capacity to connect with it in order to uproot the densest energies within the third dimensional draconian timelines for the purpose of healing these dense aspects within the level of being and then reconfiguring the human template in order to hold more higher vibratory light. So it's not that they're taking others' karma onto themselves, Essentially, what's happening is their field is awakening this dimension to whatever is out of alignment and is not in its integrity. Their energy field brings to the surface the unconscious wounds within the beings it comes in contact with, which can be experienced as antagonistic, both to the matrix and those who are heavily programmed inside of it alike. Since uncovering that level of denial and fragmentation held within the collective's unprocessed shadow doesn't necessarily feel good. Just by being themselves, they are typically in a rock and a hard place scenarios due to their frequency. They don't even have to do much to trigger others. A lot of the time, they could just breathe wrong and it would work a person into a frenzy because of the amount of light the blue rays consciousness is emanating to their environment, let alone to the established systems of power here. From a strictly human perception, we would likely interpret all of this alchemy as utterly unholy. We would simply not be able to clearly see the blue rays for who they really are. Instead, it would be easier to be reductive and fall for their ever too convenient perception of viewing these masters of light as dark, demonic, or what we were called in the recent past, a witch. It's because the blue rays can transmute the darkness that the majority of humans are afraid of. And because of this, their main theme in life is going unseen, persecuted, and misunderstood. Because of this, one of the main blocks the Blue Rays have to face is overcoming their tendency to play small in order to avoid being projected on. It's important for Blue Rays to embrace their divine attributes, or else they actually run the risk of shutting down their psychic abilities in order to attempt to blend in with their environment. The memory of persecution is an ancient one that runs deep within their template. It can subconsciously affect what gifts we will be able to access and plays an even larger role in the activation of our third eye. If you'd like to know more about how to unblock the third eye, let me know in the comments along with anything specific about the third eye that you would like me to go into more depth on, and I'll make a video on it. Being the high level alchemists that they are, Blu-rays are not here to transmute only the ancestral lineage, like other lightworkers, healers, and empaths. They are here to transmute the archetypes held within the collective psyche, particularly the victimized feminine energy that was tortured out of its magic. The male blue rays are healing the archetypes within the collective psyche as well, since gender is already fully integrated at the level of being that they emanate from. So in addition to helping raise the frequency of Earth through their intrinsic wisdom and their higher knowing. The Blue Rays are restoring the balance that is needed in order to awaken Christ consciousness through healing the divine feminine energy within the collective. To understand more on what Christ consciousness really is, you can watch my video on this topic titled The Hidden Teachings of Jesus. The major themes Blue Rays are transmuting in this lifetime through their journey are injustice, forsaken, persecution, sorrow, betrayal, and torture. This is done by having what's called in psychotherapy a juxtaposition experience, but what we refer to in mysticism as a soul retrieval. This is where the being is consciously retrieving the information surrounding the original trauma, while at the very same time having an experience that disconfirms that original experience. So we need to engage the visceral body so that the neural networks and the memories stored in the bodily tissue of that original trauma 
can become rewritten. And having these two experiences side by side is the key factor to the success of a juxtaposition experience. Now, this is a lot easier said than done when the trauma we are addressing is from a past life where being burned at the stake enters the equation, as well as other violent methods that knock the magic straight out of the light worker. Naturally, all of this would invoke some kind of fear or aversion to owning their life path. And so the blue rays hold the key to their purpose by boldly stepping into their creative expression in whatever outlet they are called to. It's especially important for them to use their voice since the blue ray of creation is connected to the throat center. They need to share the very gifts they were originally persecuted for. Only this time the punishment will be internet fights and other forms of purgatory. But honestly, there's no cookie cutter way to sum up the amount of backlash the blue ray will receive along their personal path. We can only expect it to be archetypal themes that are provoked without the original degree of severity. This is not easy, but it will give the Blu-rays the disconfirming experience that they need in order to hold both the vague memory of extreme repercussions for their gifts, as well as the visceral experience of stepping into one's power wholeheartedly in juxtaposition to one another. And juxtaposition is just the third dimension's way of saying transmutation. I hope this has activated the Blu-ray within you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for higher dimensional guidance through spiritual awakenings. See you next time.